now in numeric data type we have different options here boolean data type is there wherein the possible values are two only either it is true or false or yes or no then tiny integer small integer integer big integer numeric decimal real etc now this all can from second one to last one this all can store numbers so why we are having this many data types for numbers only because depending on its type it requires different bytes of memory when number of bytes are more it can store large numbers so here you can see that the first one tiny integer one byte that means eight bits and the range that it can store is 0 to 255 so total 256 different combinations of numbers and here in small integer now number of bytes are doubled so it is now 16 bits so 16 bits are used to store a number so the minimum and maximum value that you can store in this number is 32768 in negative part to positive three two seven six eight okay, now you can see the difference when one byte of memory is increased in that data type then integer is occupying double then small integer that is four bytes so again the range is increased so depending on possible values that user is supposed to store in any field we are assigning different data types then calendar type wherein we are having these many data types date time and timestamp timestamp means wherein we can store date and time both then binary type wherein we are uh, including image binary and binary fix and maximum length is 2 gb here in binary form in image you can store image or sound file etc and in binary to binary fix it can store array of bytes array means a group now these are sample tables that we are supposed to create these are field names and these are data types for that field and this is for the first table supplier this is employee table this is product table and this is customer table now here in the italic you can see this definition a field or combination of fields capable of identifying each record uniquely is known as primary key and then what more is there that is for primary key primary key values cannot contain duplicate values or null values now this is the process of creating database so we have already seen this now after creating the table supply table it will look like this id that is having primary key then city then not address fax number postal code supplier id etc and here at the bottom you can see record one of one so record when you are starting to enter data in this table you will get this incremented one by one and wherever you find this triangle that is the current record for example if five records are there and if it is visible in fourth number so you will get here four of five this is database window this four are database objects table queries forms and reports when you click on any particular object whatever is there inside that object you will able to see here so here only one table is there under tables only one is created when you create a new table you will able to see more tables here then queries if it is there you will able to see this queries here and as soon as you create a query it will be added in this part now to once you create a table how to edit the structure again in design view let's see So I'm opening the existing file that we have created. 
now this is table object under table object i have created these many tables under queries nothing is there so suppose if i want to change something already this table is created employee table now instead of e code i want to write emp code okay so how to start editing again so right click here and click on edit and then whatever you want to change you can add here and then save that table okay and now again i am opening this table now you can see that emp code is there okay so this way we can edit the table once we have created now how to insert a new record for that open that table and start typing here a new record and if you want to delete some old record then click on the first rectangle box before that uh, first column of that row and click on delete rows after right clicking click, uh, select delete rows so this row will get deleted and it will ask you for confirmation if you click on yes then will be erased so now next thing these are working with tables record pointer this is your record pointer this is record one of three when you you click here then this is two of three and this is four of three this is edit icon means now this row is ready for data entry once you complete this record okay one one row represent one record that means information about one person or one product or any other entity so when you complete this record and press enter then this will come to a new line so now this screen is ex explained here current record and total number of records and how to move to the first and last record from here here are buttons okay this is the first record this is the last record button when you want to go one record back or forward then these two buttons are there okay how to record uh, edit data in the table simply open that table go to that field and remove the earlier content and type the new content and then save the table again deleting the record we have seen right clicking on that uh, rectangle before the first column and then select delete rows now we are going to see sorting data in the table now see here a r and m first name is a r m now select this and sort ascending okay now we have arya maji then rubina now if you want to reverse this selection select this column and click here okay so this way we can sort uh, by selecting uh, any particular field now suppose if uh, you want to include more than one field for sorting at that time go to this button a to z only here two arrows are there a to z and z to a so the first one and then select the first field by which you want to sort your data if here two names are same at that time you can select another field for sorting and then one more field you can select and then click on ok okay so when two people are having same name at that time last name will be checked if both are same then ct will be considered that is the third field for sorting so here this in this screen that same is displayed now in database we can control data redundancy what is data redundancy it is 
duplication of or repetition of data when database is very large it might happen that the same data is repeated in different tables that means here employees here uh, in employee table okay as we have seen employee name surname etc details are there okay and if i am going to create one more table about salary of employees okay at that time if i create again the same two fields that is first name and last name so what will happen in that salary table and in this employee table in both this table the data about name of employee and son name of that employee is repeated twice okay so this is called data redundancy means same data is repeated at multiple places so here we can control that data redundancy how by assigning a particular employee code so when i create salary table and assign even employee code at that time it doesn't require all other details related to even i can directly type salary of that employee and when i want to fetch detail about that employee which is have, having in different tables for example in uh, that salary table and in this employee table at that time i can bring details from both this table so there is one drawback of this data redundancy if the same data is repeated at multiple places at that time what happens a while data entry sometimes by typing mistake uh, data consistency is not maintained for example uh, a name if it is robina here and in salary tab table if we create and if we write robina there at that time both these names are mismatched okay here majit is there here it, the spelling is, is ji and in that table if someone type j w -E d at that time both sound same but actually the spelling is different so while performing this database operations we will face problem uh, for generating queries so this type of things can be eliminated this is city table already we have created this is country table now let's see one more practical here now this is city table this is country table in country table let's see what data is there here country id and country name is there wherein ca and country id is given to canada in to india uk for united kingdom us for united states okay i can see this one country id comes only once so i can assign primary key to this country id field okay and in city table country id again comes here this field but here i cannot assign primary key to country id field because there are multiple cities that belong to same country so this code country code here or country id that is for india in it is repeated multiple times in 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 so uh, that primary key field property that it cannot have repeat repetitive values okay so it is violating so we cannot create primary key field to this country id now where it is applied this properties let's see now we are creating relationship between different tables that is city and country so from tools select relationship now this way blank window will get and select this table first city then country table okay now we are going to create relationship between these two tables so in while creating relationship we must keep in mind that relationship can be built between same fields so here country id and city field city table there is again country id so we can create con uh, relationship between these two fields which are same in different tables so this is now relationship 
and this type of relationship is one to many this is one and n stands for many so there are basically three types of relationship that is one to one one to many and many to many so as soon as you create relationship it will put it under any of these three categories so this is one to many so how it is defined one to many so as we have seen there see this is country table and at this side it is one this is city table and here it is many so let's see the table again in country table this is country id so country id all this country id comes once only okay so here in the relationship it is showing one at this side and in city table see this this i n country id comes thrice that is more than one time so here it is showing many okay that means value which is there in this country id field in country table comes once but it has multiple related records in city tables city table okay so this is one to many relationship now when we right click or double click right click and edit relationship option you will get or when you double click on this line of relationship you will get this dialog box this is a relations dialog box here it is showing properties of relationship so tables involved here are city and country and here in city table which field is involved in this relationship it is showing country id and in country id country id field so now there are two different actions that is update and delete so by default no action is there so when i update something in country id of country table nothing will happen in this country id of city table okay then this is update cascade update cascade when i select and click on okay then what will happen from country table in country id if i change in for example for india if i change this code in to ind at that time it will update country code wherever it comes in city table so here three in are there that will be replaced by ind okay so that will that is update cascade this is delete cascade delete cascade means when i delete any country id from here for example if i remove india in and india that row okay from this table so related records from this city table are also deleted this is delete cascade okay so this way relationship help in maintaining data integrity in your database